guys, welcome back to my channel. I am finally uploading my birthday haul video. I know it's been a while. I would have uploaded this last week, but I was sick. I just fell ill with this horrible flu and I ended up in bed all day Friday, so I couldn't film it then. So I'm really, really sorry. I really apologize that it's been it's taken me this long to film this video. Finally, I'm sharing with you guys what I got for my 28th birthday. I cannot believe I'm 28. Like, that just seems like a proper grown up. <laughs> I turned 28 on November 3rd. I was gonna say 1987. I had an amazing day. Jonathan treated me like a princess and Everything just went really wonderfully and I was so blessed to be able to spend it in New York. I was born in America and then I spent like my first like say seven birthdays I think, six or seven birthdays in America. And then I've actually spent two birthdays back in the States since moving away from there. So I spent my 18th in America and I also spent my 28th in America so I thought that was kind of cool. Number one thing I have to say before I start the haul video is that I hope you don't take it the wrong way. Like with any haul video, it's kind of all in good fun. It's not meant to be a bragging video. It's something that a lot, a lot, a lot of you have requested me to do. And I just hope you don't take it the wrong way. I hope you understand that. And I think the vast majority of people that watch haul videos do, but I just wanted to put it out there because I know this video is probably gonna get a lot of crap. I think there's some kind of a leaf blower or somebody's decided to work up this video. Well, the first thing I did was went up to Christian Louboutin for my first pair of Louboutin shoes because I really, really wanted these for so, so long and I felt like this was the perfect occasion. These are the beauties that I got. Every time I look at them, I just have to smile. These are the Pigal 85s and I got them in a half a size smaller than I actually am. They didn't say they fit big, but they said that they grow with your foot so they kind of like um, will widen over time. What I will say about these guys is they are so uncomfortable to wear. Like nothing to do with the heel height. I think it's more so like this area here. It's just, it's a pointed toe, like it's gonna be uncomfortable. I wore them on my birthday evening with a black dress with red like beading and it was just perfect, but I was in pain like the entire night. I got them in the patent black because I have issues in life and <laughs> I just, I needed the patent. If I tell you the reason, it's gonna sound really crazy, but basically when I was in school, my mom would not let me have patent shoes. Like, she would not let me wear patent shoes to school because we had a uniform. One of the rules was that we had to wear black shoes and most of the girls had patent black shoes, like shiny black shoes. They were so, well, I thought they were so beautiful and amazing, but my mom wouldn't let me because that's just not her style. Like she has a more understated style, you know, she doesn't really like anything flashy. This is what happened. Like I tried on this these pair of shoes and instantly it was like the little girl inside me was like, oh, my black patent shoes. And I just could not stop looking at them. Then I tried on the matte black ones, like just the normal black leather and it didn't have the same effect, but I couldn't take my eyes off my feet when I had these ones on, so I had to get them. So I have deep rooted issues about patent shoes, obviously. Second thing on the list was a handbag. I actually got two handbags. I know that seems a little bit extreme to some of you, but I've had my eyes set on these two for, especially this one, for a very long time. This is the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. I think every single YouTube beauty guru out there has this handbag, and I'm basically jumping on the bandwagon like years and years and years later. I felt like this is a classic. It's not ever gonna go out of style. The other thing about this though is that it's so big that it does kind of double up as a nappy bag. Emilia and Eduardo are kind of older now and they're in the toddler phase so they're not like baby baby but I still take a change of clothes for her and nappies and wipes and stuff for him. When we went out the other day, I didn't take a changing bag and a handbag, which I had been doing previously. I just took this and you wouldn't even notice. Like usually I would be like shoving wipes and things into my handbag and it was so annoying, but I hated the thought of taking two bags, whereas this is just perfect. Another reason that I wanted to get this though is because I wanted a darker brown bag 
for autumn and winter. I have the Chloe Marcy bag and that is beautiful. I absolutely love it and I've put it away and it's just, just bag for next spring and summer because it's just wet here now and it's rainy and I was really really scared that it was going to get marked when I was like getting in and out of cars and like just out and about so I just had to put it away so this is kind of like my alternative to that for autumn and winter also you're able to pick the inside I got it in the beige because we all know I love beige and it goes with everything and the other options were like pink and red I was kind of drawn to the pink but then I was like calm down your mom. Next thing is also a handbag and this handbag was the one that I had set my eyes on first off so this was going to be like my main birthday present like in the very beginning. The reason why I love it so much is because it goes with my wallet. I have this wallet which is in the Safiano leather and I just love it like it's got a bow on the front. I got this for Christmas like two years ago I think or no, two years ago. And I just love how it goes perfectly with this bag. I can never remember the name of the model of this bag, but I'll put it on my blog. I think I have already linked it on my blog. It's got the handles here, and then it's got a longer one here, so you can wear it across your body. It's got like, obviously the two zips here on either side, and then it's got tons of space and like little like sections on the inside. It clips out, so if you need to put like a laptop or a, an iPad or something inside it'll fit that. I probably won't be doing that being honest like I don't have like an office job or anything that I'm like going to work every day. I really needed a nice like staple black handbag in my life. I just think it's so classic and it's the kind of thing that will never go out of style. That's kind of what I was aiming for with like all of my gifts. I wanted to get things that I knew I would keep forever. Let me just show you though the classiness of what I have inside this handbag right now. A blue spade and <laughs> Pascal? Yeah, Pascal from Rapunzel. So clearly Eduardo has been in my bag. He just like puts random things in my bag and then I find them like weeks later. I just like pull stuff out and I'm like, okay. I've got an iguana in my bag. I also got something from my sister Emma that I'm wearing right now and it is this jumper. It's like molting everywhere because it's so hot in this room. This is what it looks like. This jumper is right up my street like I just love this this jumper is from and other stories which I think she said is like a higher-end version of H&M or something like that I'm not really sure it's kind of like Angora at the top and then it has like a gradient effect into this like sparkly lurex material it's kind of longer as well and I have it on with leather leggings at the moment so if I can I'll insert a picture of what it looks like but I absolutely love this jumper thank you so much Emma from my sister Erica I got the cutest present so so this is a pair of pajamas which I posted on Instagram like a week ago I think or maybe two weeks ago now I just love them so much they're like I just fell in love with them as soon as I saw them this is the top part and it says the snuggle is real it's like this luminous pink and it's long sleeve so it's really cozy I love the buttons here at the front Amelia every time I wear this she asks me why these two buttons are undone and these two are fastened. She doesn't get it. Like, she doesn't understand why two are undone and two aren't. I think what I like the most about this set are the shorts. They have black polka dots on, a black, like, drawstring, and then I, what I really love is the ruffle. They're just so cute and flattering. The last two things that I got are this Jo Malone candle, which is my first one. I've never had one of these before, which is weird because I'm really into candles. I have this on my bedside table because I think it just looks really elegant and nice. This is Peony and Blush Suede. How I would describe this is very fresh. It's just very like clean, fresh, feminine. I really, really like it. And last but not least, is this little clutch. I think I would probably call this wristlet. I think that's technically what it's called. This is by Kate Spade, and if you don't already know, I love her bracelets. I always have this bracelet on whenever I wear like black or gray. I just think it's so cute, or like black and white, like monochrome, it's got a little bow on it. This was given to me by the same person. This is really, really soft leather and it just says Kate Spade New York on it which I again I didn't even get to go in a Kate Spade shop but I did see it when I was there it's a perfect thing for like if I go out at night or in the evenings and I don't want to carry around something big with me you can just put your phone your cards it's got like space for your cards and stuff in it maybe like a tampon <laughs> lipstick and that's it 
So I really, really love all of my presents. I'm so appreciative of everything that I got. I hope you liked everything. Let me know what your favorite thing was. I will put pictures on my blog and I'll put like links to things if you want to find them for yourselves. And I will talk to you in my next one. Bye.